Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Schwalik, and I just got my wisdom teeth out one week ago. Yes, that is right. I just had wisdom teeth surgery where I was knocked out. Some dentist guy was drilling into my gums, pulling out my three wisdom teeth. Last time I checked, having three teeth pulled is better than having four. All of that aside, I am here to tell you how to survive your wisdom teeth surgery and recovery with nine tips. You're probably freaking out like I was, so let's get right to it. Tip number one, mentally prepare yourself. All right, if you're watching this video, you have probably just recently found out or are getting ready to have your wisdom teeth surgery. And if you're anything like me, you're probably freaking out just a little bit. Or if you really are like me, you're probably freaking out a lot bit. Regardless of who you are, if you stress out about these types of surgeries or not, you need to mentally prepare yourself. You need to have a plan going in to make sure you're prepared for the scenario, how it will unfold, and how you'll handle yourself. Because <laughs> surgery can be kind of scary, but if you take the time to mentally think through the entire scenario, it's gonna make everything a whole lot easier for you. And overall, the one thing that you need to tell yourself is that everything's going to be okay. You are going to make it through this. People get wisdom teeth taken out through surgery every single day. And hey, I just got my wisdom teeth taken out a week ago. I live to tell the tale, and so will you. Tip number two, don't go for the laughing gas or the morphine, go for the twilight zone. I don't mean to scare you, but getting your wisdom teeth taken out is kind of a painful process. They cut into your gums and then take out the teeth that are underneath of it. So you need some type of sedative to get you through that. Laughing gas slash morphine is one of those and that type of medication is what causes people to make those awkward videos where they don't really know what's going on after their surgery. Why am I not a princess? That's all fine and dandy. If you want to be awkward and to say weird things and to call your nurse hot and maybe get famous on YouTube because you say and do weird things, that is up to you. Go for the morphine then. If you want a more normal and easy experience, go for the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone. That is where you get an IV put into your arm. And that IV is filled with a sedative that gently drifts you to sleep. However, you're not fully knocked out. You're in the twilight zone. And that is where you're still responsive enough so if the doctor asks you, Andrew, can you open your mouth a little more for me? You can do that. However, you're in the twilight zone so you're not going to feel or remember a thing. This is the route that I took and I totally recommend it. I only have very slight memory of the dentist putting something in my mouth and then I was out, I didn't feel a single thing, I had no idea what was going on. The next thing I knew, I woke up, I was gently awakened by the nurse, I was laying back in a chair and I was about to get wheeled out and head on home. Tip number three, ask your doctor every question that you can think of. Before you have your wisdom teeth surgery, you're gonna have a consultation, a meeting with the doctor that will be performing the surgery just to walk through all of the different steps. While you're there, meeting with your doctor, ask him or her every single question that you can think of or are curious about. They're more than happy to give you the answers, plus it'll make you feel better knowing that you have asked every question that's on your mind to get the entire experience clarified. That's exactly what I did. I wanted to know if I'll feel any pain, what is the process going to be like of getting sedated, how long does it take me to fall asleep or to go into the twilight zone, how long is the surgery going to be? Mine actually only lasted 25 minutes, pretty clutch. Ask all of those questions to your doctor in that first meeting so you know what to expect and you can be more calm going through the process. Tip number four, this one's pretty easy, but trust your doctor. Your doctor has done numerous wisdom teeth surgeries. They're a doctor for a reason. They've studied years and trained years to do this successfully and they're going to do it successfully. So trust your doctor. Know that you are in good hands and they're going to be taking care of you throughout your entire surgery. Really, you have nothing to worry about. Trust your doctor. Tip number five, this one comes after you have successfully finished surgery. 
and your wisdom teeth are out, now you're recovering. And tip five is the beginning of the recovery process, rest as much as possible. Take a couple days off work, off of school, to rest and recuperate because now there are big holes in the back of your mouth and they need to recover and to grow back over so you don't get any infections and nothing weird gets in there. One, resting will help the injury and the holes in your mouth recover quickly. Two, it will also help with the swelling. And three, it will help make you feel better quicker. So take the time to rest, take naps, sleep, and uh, also stay hydrated. Tip number six, take Motrin for the pain and the swelling. After your body stops being numb from the medication that you had during surgery, you're gonna feel some pain and there's going to be a lot of swelling. Motrin, which you can get over the counter, but often your doctor will recommend or prescribe a higher dosage, that will help reduce the swelling very quickly and it will also get rid of the pain. Some doctors will also prescribe you higher level medications. I was prescribed Vicodin, but I know it's highly addictive. So I said, thanks, but no thanks. I'm not gonna roll with that. I'm just gonna stick with the Motrin. And the Motrin worked for me. I only took it three days after my surgery and then the swelling started to go down and I didn't even need to take it anymore after the third day because the pain had already subsided so much. Motrin for me was a good call. Take it to reduce that swelling and help the pain go away. Tip number seven, learn to love mashed potatoes, jello, and smoothies. After your wisdom teeth surgery, you're not going to be able to eat or drink a lot of different things, especially harder foods. So mashed potatoes, jello, and smoothies are three things that doctors recommend that you eat for almost up to three days. So you better start liking them and get used to them pretty quick. Really, that is all of tip seven. So hopefully you already like those three foods. Tip number eight, Follow the instructions that you get from your doctor. You're gonna get a paper that looks like this. It has a variety of different instructions on it that you need to follow after surgery to help you recover most effectively. For example, some of those things on this instruction guide will be, <clears throat> don't chew the gauze packing that's in your mouth for 30 to 45 minutes. I don't really know why you would wanna chew it anyway but just don't chew on the stuff that's in your mouth after surgery. Keep your head elevated above your heart for the entire rest of the day. Keep your fluid levels high, drink plenty of water, stay hydrated. Don't smoke today, and it's probably good to not smoke ever. Don't drink through straws for two weeks post-treatment. That one is a hard one to follow, so make sure you're very cognizant of what you're drinking and how you're drinking it. Also, don't eat popcorn or nuts for three weeks while the socket site is healing. That is one I did not follow. Hopefully nothing's wrong. Just pay attention to the instruction sheet that your doctor gives you. Don't be like me. Don't eat nuts, don't eat popcorn. Play it safe and you'll be recovering quickly and effectively in no time. Tip number nine, continue to brush your teeth but do it very gently. You just had surgery in the back of your mouth where your gums were cut open and your toothbrush is a pretty hard item. So make sure you're extremely gentle when you're brushing in the back of your mouth. Honestly, this was one of the hardest parts for me. I was terrified that I would accidentally just slip and end up tearing the cut back open. All in all, if you just take your time and brush your teeth gently and are very aware of where you're brushing, you're gonna be good to go. But keep brushing, you don't want cavities, especially after you just visited the dentist to get your wisdom teeth out. It's time to brush your teeth. Well, folks, that is it. You now have the nine tips and know how to survive your wisdom teeth surgery and recovery. Like I said, I live to tell the tale and you're gonna live to tell the tale. So don't be worried. It's a really easy and simple procedure. Your doctors know what's going on. Follow their instructions and mentally prepare yourself your recovery process is going to go by quickly and you're gonna be back into the rat race before you know it. So enjoy the time of taking naps and drinking smoothies because you don't get to do that every day. Well, I'm out of here. Good luck with your surgery. Remember to follow all the instructions. You're gonna do great.